Hi, my friends. Uh, live stream. Um, this is Michelle uh, Francis live on YouTube, making the reel on YouTube. So my name is Francis, and uh, you know I remain Francis by name. <laughs> and welcome to Cuckoo Share Francis live stream. Uh, I make live stream every day, and today is my 17th live stream. You know, I upload videos every day. I make live stream every day. So um, I'm gonna wish you, my friends, a happy new year in advance. You know, we done Christmas already, and um, we are approaching the new year. So we hope to see the new year. You know, heal and hearty. So my friends, today I'm gonna be making a wonderful meal. You know, a lovely dish called the Japanese tempura. You know, I'm gonna be making the tempura butter. You know, and as well, I'll be making the tensuyu dip in sauce. Of course, when you make your tempura, you're gonna add. You're gonna dip your tempura veggies or your shrimp tempura, whatever, into the lovely tensio dipping sauce. So I'll be making this sauce. If you check my thumbnail, you're gonna see, you're gonna see that uh, there's a lovely sauce, you know, beside the lovely bowl of uh, tempura veg. It's, it's a lovely Japanese meal, you know, they love it in Tokyo, Japan. All over Japan, it's in all over Japan. You know, like in England, you make your fish and chips, you want to put your fish, you want to dip it into butter and deep fry. So every culture has their own way of making, you know, butter. So I'll be showing you how the Japanese make their own tempura butter and how they make their tensio dipping sauce and of course how they make the tempura so i'll be showing everything here live on this wonderful station so i made francis my name and welcome to Cuckoo Chef Francis. Making it real on YouTube, live on YouTube. Now, my friends, if you are not joining this wonderful live stream and you have not yet subscribed, my friends, please click the subscribe button. And when you are subscribed, please turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss the latest from Cook with Chef Francis. Of course, when you turn on the bell, the notification bell, whenever I go live or upload a new video, you know, you're gonna get a notification that I'm about to live stream or upload a video. So my friends, please stay put and stay connected. Keep your fingers crossed, you know, while I begin my lovely tempura, you know, Japanese tempura. So today, my friends, I'll be making the Japanese tempura veg. I'm not going to be making the shrimp one, but I'm going to explain how you can go about the shrimp one as well using your shrimps or your fish. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you very much. I'll be right back in just a second. Thank you.
So my friends, I'm back now. Um, I'm back now. So I'll be telling you what I'm gonna be using for making the tempura butter, and of course I'll, you know, place my veggies on the table, and I'm gonna be showing you what type of vegetable I'm gonna be using. Of course, I'll need my sweet potatoes. So I'll put on the table now. My friends, I need sweet potatoes. So I'll pop down the table. I need courgett, so I'll put my courgett on the table. Of course, I need my onion to make my half moon. So I need that, that should be enough, I'll put it on the table. Of course I need garlic, so I'll put my garlic on the table. Um, that's for the veggies, I need courgette, I need potatoes, I need onion and of course I need uh, my bell pepper. You could use a green, yellow or red bell pepper. So I'll be using the yellow and red. So I have the yellow and the red bell pepper. So I'll be using that my friends. So my friends, to make the tempura veg, we need uh, sweet potatoes, we need courgette, that's courgette, that's sweet potatoes, and we need green, yellow or red bell pepper, that's that one, and we also need our onion, you know, to make our tempura veg. Of course, that's for the veggies, but if I was to make the fish tempura, you know, like using the shrimp, you know, I'm gonna pop my shrimp here, but I'm making the one for vegetarians, for veggies. So I'll be making the veg tempura, the Japanese veg tempura. That's what I'm making today, my friends. So it's gonna be the same method. The way I'm gonna do uh, my veggies is the same way you're gonna do your shrimp tempura or your fish tempura. So my friends, this is the veggies that I'm gonna be using. So I said I'm gonna be using sweet potatoes, courgette, um, bell pepper, and onion. So now my friends, I'll be telling you what we're going to be using for the butter, to make my butter. So I will need flour, cold water, you could use the sparkling water or the normal steam water, that's alright. Or your water from your running tap, just the cold water you need. And you need flour so I'm gonna pop down the table now so I'll be right back my friends thank you
to my friends, uh, uh, I will need flour, so I'm gonna grab my flour for the butter. So I need flour for the butter. I need egg. So my eggs in the fridge. I need egg, and I also need uh, cold water. So for the butter, I need flour, cold water, and I also need uh, egg yolk. So I'll leave that in the fridge. Then for the sauce, you could use vinegar, any kind of any type of vinegar you, you need. You want to use you can use the Japanese vinegar, you know, the mirin, the, the Japanese vinegar or whatever. And you can use, uh, I'll be using the malt vinegar. You can use your malt vinegar, and you can use any type of vinegar you like. You can use it. And of course, you need your soy sauce. You know, equal quantity of soy sauce, vinegar, sweet chili sauce. That's all right. You can use your sweet chili sauce. You know, your vinegar. You know, and your soy sauce to make your lovely, you know, tempura dipping. And of course, you need to add grated ginger and, you know, garlic puree. So I'll, I'll grab my garlic puree. I got my garlic, so I, I need the uh, ginger. So I'll be using uh, the ground ginger. You can use the uh, the grated one, the fresh one, if you want to. So I'll bring that for my sauce, and of course, uh, we need uh, uh, soy sauce and more vinegar. So I'm gonna pop my more vinegar on the. Uh, and of course, we need veg vegetable oil for deep frying. We want to deep fry our uh, tempura veg, so we need vegetable oil. You can use your sunflower oil if you want to, my friends, and uh, of course. I need my salt and uh, I'm gonna pop my malt vinegar right here. You can use any kind of vinegar you like. That's alright. So I'll use my malt vinegar and uh, so my friends now I'm gonna get started. So what I'm gonna do now my friends, I'm gonna pop my uh, my chopping board on the table and start you know chopping my veg and I'm gonna wash my veg I'll wash my veg and I'm gonna and, I, and I'm gonna dry them with the J club you know so I'm gonna be using my J club to dry my veg after washing so I'm gonna be drying them with that and of course I need one more when I'm frying to dry it. Now my friends, uh, so uh, if you are just joining this live stream, this is Coco Chef Francis live on YouTube and if you are not subscribed to this lovely channel, please click the subscribe button now, turn on the bell so you get the latest from, you know, Coco Chef Francis. Thank you very much for joining this live stream. So now I'm gonna you know, get started right away and I'm going to tell you what to do, what we're going to be doing now and of course, if you want to make your veg, your tempura veg, we need to, you know, make, prepare our vegetables so of course, our onion, I'm going to be slicing my onion in half moons you know, like a moon, you want it half, so half moons and of course, I'm going to be, you know, slicing my potatoes and of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna slice my bell pepper in strips. I'm gonna be in strips, and uh, and uh, my courgette is gonna be in you know round slices. Now I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna chop them now. Uh, I'm gonna start with my potatoes. So first of all, I'm gonna set my table on the work my my chopping board on the work surface. So. Uh, I have my chopping board and uh, I have, I'm going to put that on that so it doesn't, you know, skid or something. Uh, I need my chef knife. Uh, 
Now, my friends, I'm gonna. Uh, let me check my wallet. So I'll see what I have here. So I'm gonna sharpen my knife because I want my knife very sharp. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that quickly. I want it nice and sharp. So my knife is ready now. So now I'm gonna pop that in the uh, back in my wallet. So I'm going to be using my chef knife now. Uh, now. So I'm going to wash my chef knife. My friends, today I said I'm making uh, the tempura veg, and if I just join this live stream, this is Kuku Chef France live on YouTube. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do so now. Uh, now, my friends, I'm gonna, you know, slice my uh, I'll get a, uh, a new. Uh, You know, to put my uh, like a bean bowl to put my rubbish there. So I'm peeling my potatoes. I need sweet potatoes, so I'm peeling that now. Mm So my friends, that's my lovely uh, potatoes. So uh, so I'm gonna pop that. I'm gonna wash that now. So that's my uh, lovely uh, potatoes. So uh, now I'm gonna slice them. So my friends, uh, I'm gonna, uh, you know, slice these wonderful um, potatoes. That's, you know, a very big potato. So I'm gonna, you know, try to, you know, slice it that way. It's gonna be easier for me if I do it that way. Because it's very big. So now I'm gonna, you know, cut that in half. And uh, 
I'm gonna give it a very thin slice. You know, we fry them, so if I make it too uh, too thick, it's not gonna cook easily. So now, thin slice is what I need. I need a thin slice. That looks good, my friends. So, uh, I'm gonna pop that on the um, in a bowl. I could just use a, a plate to um, I need to dry them like sweat. When you're making tempura, you need to dry your vegetables after washing them. So when you're frying them, they come out very well. Yeah, that's all right. You don't want to fry wet uh, vegetables, so I'm going to dry this one as well. I want them dry. So you can see my sweet potatoes are very dry and you know you know thin slices you don't want to make it too thick it's not gonna cook so thin slices so I'm gonna pop that here and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna slice my uh, you know potatoes again thin slices We need thin slices, so uh, yeah, that's a lie. The ones I don't need, I'm going to pop them back. I don't want to slice too much. We just need a small quantity. We have our cold jet. We want thin slices, so we don't want to slice too thick, you know. Lovely thin slices.
Thin slices, my friends. So that's enough for my tempura. So uh, so I have my uh, sweet potatoes. I don't need the smaller ones, so I'm gonna take them off. I need the bigger ones, so that's what I need, my friends. So this is my lovely sweet potatoes. So now I have my potatoes ready. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna slice my courgette. I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna dry it. And I'm gonna slice it. So that's my lovely sweet potato. Nice thin slices. You know, I slice this in triangles. So my friends, you can also use mushrooms to make uh, your tempura. You can add mushrooms to, to, to your veggies. Any lovely you love, mushrooms, sweet sweet potatoes, courgette, that's alright. So but today I'm not using mushrooms, so I'm using sweet potatoes, courgette, onion, and bell pepper. So I'm gonna dry that, that's my courgette. So I have triangle shape, the next shape I'm gonna be using is, uh, I'm making a round shape now, with my courgette. I'll be right back, my friends. Thank you. Just a second, please. My friends, I'm back. I'm gonna slice my courgette now. So I'm gonna be slicing it thinly. I want thin slices of my courgette, so that's what I'm doing now. So, thinly, so I have my uh, thin slice of courgette, they're going to cook quickly my friends. Mm. 
you make them too thick, they're not gonna cook. So it won't taste like this of cogent. So that's my thin slices. So that's lovely. It looks absolutely sensational, my friends. That's my lovely koji. Lovely. So those are thin slices of koji. So I'll set them aside. Lovely thin slices of koji. Now my friends, I have my courgette, you know, and I have have my sweet potatoes in triangles, my courgette in circles, round shape, triangular shape. Now, uh, I'm gonna slice my uh, bell pepper in strips. So what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to take off the seed. I'm going to take off the seed. I don't need the seed, my friend, so I'm going to take it off. So I'm gonna get rid of the seed. I'm gonna bin that. Now my friends, um, I need to wash that. I'm gonna trim that off. I'm gonna trim that off. And I'm gonna cut that in strips. See, that looks absolutely lovely, my friends. I got strips of my uh, bell pepper. I could leave that one that way, that's all right. That's my strips. So that's for the yellow bell pepper. I'll pop that here. So my friends, that's yellow bell pepper, that's all right. Put that back in the fridge. So now my friends, uh, I said you could use your mushrooms, but the last veg I'll be using will, will be my onion. So I'll be making, uh, you know, the tempura with, you know, onion slice in moons, half moons. So I'm gonna slice my onion in half moons and uh, Now I'm gonna peel my onion. I'm gonna pick up the. Uh, I love using brown onion when I'm making my tempura. You know, it looks absolutely nice, my friends. I always peel my onion with my hand so it doesn't bleed. If I use my knife to peel it, it's gonna bleed. So. I always do it that way and it comes out absolutely you know nice when I peel with my hands that's what I do my friends easy 
it makes your onion not to bleed. You don't need a, you don't need a sharp finger to peel an onion. You just use your hands and that's it. So now I'm done peeling my onion with my hands. So what next? I'm gonna slide in half moons. So I got my onion ready. So because I want to slice in half moons, I'm not gonna, you know, slice everything too much. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash this onion and I'm gonna, uh, and I'm gonna dry them with my jade cloth. So that's my onion. So I'm gonna wash it, you know, and dry it with my jade cloth. So I brought back my friends to cut my onion in half moons and we get started to fry our lovely, you know, tempura veg. So my friends, I'm back now. I'll be uh, slicing my onion in half moons. Before doing that, my friends, what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna, you know, make my tempura butter. So what I need, I need uh, a bowl. So I'm gonna weigh my flour, you know. So now my friends, I'm gonna weigh my flour. I need a uh, flour, 200 grams of flour. So I'm gonna pop my flour 200 grams. That's not 200 yet. Yeah, it's now 200. So that's 200 grams of flour. So I'll set that aside. Then I'm gonna use my water. We can use any cold water we like. We can use, um, I'm using the um, spring water, um, 
the sparkling spring water you can use your normal steel water that's all right and uh, of course i need egg yolk to make the butter so i'm gonna grab my egg yolk now so my friends i'm gonna you know pop my egg yolk straight into Okay, I can put that here, that's all right. Yeah, that's my flour. Uh, 200 grams of flour. So I'll pop my egg back in the fridge. So that's my flour and uh, yeah, that's all right. So I'm gonna pop my egg yolk straight into. Uh, I wanna take. I just need the egg yolk, so I'm gonna drain that away. So I need my egg yolk. Just egg yolk I need. So that's my flour, 200 grams, and that's egg yolk, one egg yolk. Actually, I need two egg yolks for, you know, 200 grams of flour. So I'm going to grab another egg yolk. If I was making 100 grams of flour for my butter, of course, I'll be using uh, one egg. So I need to egg it anyway, so I'm going to pop that back in the fridge. So I'm going to drain that egg white. I don't need that, so I need only my egg yolk, so that's what I need, my friends. So that's it, my friends, egg yolk. So that's my egg yolk. So I'm gonna wix that. Can you see that, my friends? You know, that's the egg yolk. Now I'm gonna pop uh, my water, cold water. I'm gonna weigh 400 grams of water. That's my sparkling water. I need 400 grams. So that's 400 grams of, the, of uh, my sparkling water. So I'm gonna, you know, mix everything together. Can you see that my friends, you can see 
you know, it's bubbling like the gas in there, you know. I prefer using sparkling water because it looks like a bear or something. Like, you know, you know, when you're making your fish and chips, you use, um, you know, your beer, you know, and your beer have lots of carbon dioxide, you know, like it bubbles. So that's what I'm doing with my sparkling water. You know, I use that for my tempura as well. So my friends, you know, I said, if you are making the tempura for 100 grams of flour, you need one egg yolk, one egg yolk, and you need um, 200, you know, grams of water or milliliters of water. So I'm making, you know, I need more butter. So, you know, that's all right. I use two egg yolk, 400 uh, milliliters of spring water or sparkling water, cold one, and I also added, um, you know, flour, 400 grams. So that's my butter. So I pop that in the fridge, you know. So you can season with salt and pepper if you like. Right, so I can add a little bit of salt into my, you know, butter, and you know I'm gonna add black pepper. I'm gonna season that with black pepper. That's all right. So. So I'm going to pop that in the fridge and let it stand for some time. So but I'll cover with a clean thing while in the fridge. Just add a little bit of uh, a little bit of flour. You don't want it to wash it. So. So my friends, I have my butter, I'm going to cover with clean thing and I'm going to chill that for, you know, about um, 15 minutes. Then I'm going to start frying my butter straight in the uh, frying pan. So I'll put that in the fridge to chill.
So my friends, uh, while our sparkling water, uh, I beg your pardon, while our butter is in the fridge, I'm going to make my uh, half moon onion. I'll pour back that in the, uh, in the cupboard. I don't need that anymore. So now I'm going to, you know, slice my onion in half moons. So, uh, in half moons. So I want to slice in half moon. I'm gonna, you know, cut it this way. So that's my half moon. You see, lovely, my friends, half moon. So that's my. Uh, my onion in half moon, my courgette in uh, round slices, and my yellow bell pepper in strips. You could use your green bell pepper or the red one, that's alright. So that's in strips, lovely shape, strips, half moons, round shapes, and that's my uh, lovely sweet potato in triangles. So I have four types of shapes. I have triangles, I have half moons, and I have round shapes, and I have strips. Now, I'll keep making my half moon for my onion. You wanna make your half moon, you hold your knife that way and you slice down that way. That's how to make the half moons. Easy, my friends. Half moons, half moons, half moons. So I'm gonna slice, I'm gonna cut off the head a little bit. Don't want to cut too much. Because when you cut too much, you're not going to be able to make your strips easily. So now, I'm going to make more half moons. Half moon, half moon, half moon, half moon. Half moon, half moon. Lovely half moons, my friends. For my onion. So my friends, now uh, I have my my uh, my stuff is chilling in the fridge. My butter, my temporary butter is in the fridge chilling. And uh, now I have my vegetable slice. Of course, when you're making your veg, your veggies, you know, I wanna make my puree now. So my friends, yeah, if you have not joined this live stream and you have not yet subscribed, please click the notification bell. Uh, notification bell. You know, when it, when you are, when you see subscribe, turn on the bell and uh, subscribe so that I get notified for new videos when I upload my new videos and my new live stream so uh, 
My name is Francis, and this is Google Chef Francis live on YouTube. And today I said I was making the Japanese tempura, and I was making the veg, you know, Japanese tempura veg. Of course, we have the shrimp, you know, tempura. We have the fish tempura, but I was making the Japanese tempura veg. Now you could use different veggies if you like. You could use your mushroom, you know, you could use your mushroom. You could use your sweet potatoes. You could use your project, but right now I said I'm making the tempura, which is the veggies. Of course, my veggies I'm using um, are project. I'm using project. I use just one project, medium size, and I use potatoes. You know, half of a medium size potatoes, sweet potatoes. I mean, I beg your pardon, sweet potatoes, project, and of course. I use half yellow bell pepper and of course I use uh, two medium sized onion slice in half moon. So what I did, I slice them, I slice my onion in half moon, I slice my koja thinly, you know, thin slices round. You don't want to cut it too thick because if you make it too thick, it's not going to cook when you're frying it. Of course, I slice my, uh, and I, what I mean by thin slices. That thin slices and uh, for my sweet potatoes, you can see as well, they are thin slices so that when you fry them, they're gonna cook easily. But if they are very thick, they're gonna take time to cook, you know, while you did them your butter. And of course, uh, that's my onion in half moons and uh, my bell pepper in strips looks absolutely wonderful isn't it so now uh I'll, I'll i'll be making my garlic puree because i'll be using my garlic puree to make my lovely tensuyu dipping sauce you know it's called a tensuyu dipping sauce so i'll be using my garlic puree i'll be using my malt vinegar of course when you're making your you know your 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 you know tensuyu dipping sauce for your you know you know for your japanese tempura you could use any kind of vinegar you like. You could use your mirin, you could use your malt vinegar, you could use your, you know, any type of vinegar you like. So I'm using the malt vinegar and I'm also using my garlic puree. Of course, you could use your fresh grated ginger, but I'll be using my ground ginger to make my, uh, you know, my sauce. And of course, I need my soy sauce and I need sweet chili. You could use sweet chili, you know, or you could use the hot chili if you like, but I'll be using my soy sauce, you know, I have my soy sauce, so I'm gonna, you know, show you my soy sauce. So, uh, I'll be using my, you know, Japanese soy sauce, and I'm using my hot sauce, but you can use a sweet chili. You use sweet chili is better, but I want to use this one, you know. But go for your sweet chili. Sweet chili gives you the better result. Now, I'm gonna put that back in the fridge when I'm ready to use. Yeah, I could just pop them here. That's alright. So I'm using that for my sauce, so I can remember uh, my sauce is ready when my sauce is about to be used to be to be cooked. Yeah, I can use that. Soy sauce, hot sauce, or sweet chili sauce, that's all right. You know, a little bit of garlic puree and uh, more vinegar. That's gonna be all right for my sauce. So now my friends, uh, uh, you can also add, you know, you can add, you know, like a chopped coriander or chopped parsley, you know, into your wonderful sauce. So for uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I'll add a little bit of, you know, maybe one speck of thyme or two speck of thyme. You could use your parsley. Parsley and coriander are very nice to spice your sauce. Well, that we are adding two sprigs of you know thyme, fresh thyme leaves. Yeah. 
I'll be adding fresh thyme leaves, two sprigs. So two sprigs will be all right. You know. I'm gonna add, you know, flavor to my lovely sauce. So now my friends, I'm gonna get started now. So before I get started, I need to make my garlic puree first. So I'll be right back my friends, I wanna make my garlic puree, but I'll be right back. Just a second please, thank you. My friends, I'm back, so I'm gonna wash my uh, my fresh thyme. I'll be adding that into my lovely sauce, so I'll pop that one there. Now, my friends, um, I'm gonna make my garlic puree now. I'm using three of those to make my garlic puree. So I'm gonna make my garlic puree now. I think two should be enough. Um, two blows of uh, garlic, that should be enough for my garlic puree. So I'm going to be adding that into my um, lovely sauce. Puree now, my lovely puree, my friends.
So um, that's my finely um, diced garlic. So I'm gonna make a puree now with my knife. So I'm gonna be adding my puree into my um, lovely sauce. So my puree is ready. I'm gonna pop that, you know, into a lovely bowl. So my friends, my garlic puree is ready, so I'm going to pop that into my lovely bowl. Then I'm gonna add two sprigs of uh, thyme. Yeah. So I'll put that well under anymore. So in another bowl, I need um, I need dry flour in another bowl. I'll be dipping my veggies into that flour. I'm gonna put that away, I don't need anymore. In this flour, I'm gonna add salt, a little bit of sea salt, and a little bit of black pepper. So I'm gonna mix that up. I just add more flour, but we got lots of veggies. I'm going to be keeping my flour right in here, my veggies right in here. That should be enough.
for my friends, that's my um, half moon onion, uh, cogets in slices, and uh, bell pepper in strips, and of course, uh, sweet potatoes. So now, my friends, uh, I'm gonna get started now. But I need a saucepan for frying my veggies. So that's my saucepan. I'm using that to fry my veggies. So my friends, uh, I said today we'll be making the uh, Japanese tempura and of course when you're making your tempura you can make the one of fish tempura like uh, shrimp tempura you know, but today I said I'll be making the Japanese vegetable tempura so basically I'll be using or I started using already I said I'm gonna be using my uh, sweet potatoes so I use half of those I slice them in triangles can you see in triangles and of course my cogent I slice them in a round you know shape thinly you don't want to slice them too thick because if you make it, if you make them too thick they're gonna cook easily of course and of course uh, my yellow bell pepper I said you could use your green bell pepper you could use the red one if you want to but I'm using the yellow one and this yellow one I cut them in strips I removed the seed it was de-seeded and of course I cut my onion in half moon that's my onion and I showed you how I did it I cut them in half moons and of course I said if you love mushrooms you can use your mushrooms for your Japanese tempura so my friends that's for the veggies and I made my lovely Japanese tempura butter and I said when you're making your butter you could use your your water should be twice the amount of your flour but you need to be careful when you see the water is a little bit too much you need to stop of course if you are using 100 grams of flour your water should be 200 grams or you could use about 190 that's right but what I mean your water could be uh, still water or it could be your sparkling water that's right or make sure it is cold water from the fridge so I'm using cold water the one I'm using is the you know spring sparkling water very cold I bought that from the store where you could use your normal water from the tap chill it in the fridge and use it when necessary you know how did I make my butter what did I do I weighed my flour I weighed 200 grams of flour and I added two egg yolks into that flour and I top it with 400 grams of cold water my cold sparkling water and I use my uh, wicks to whisk everything together and I got a very nice result that's my butter and what I did I have to chill the butter in the fridge so that when I'm ready to use it becomes you know lovely and ready for my dipping of my vegetables so that's in the fridge my lovely butter in the fridge so if you're making the fish tempura you can use that same butter dip your fish right in there and you deep fry and of course there's a technique in making your tempura butter if you make it wrongly you're not going to get a real result and it's going to be real of course we want to see the nice and coated butter all over our veggies or our fish when it's been deep fried of course if you don't make a very nice butter we're going to ruin our japanese 
Then pray about that. Of course, when you make you want to dip your butter, you want to dip your vegetable, what we need to do, I'm going to be showing you, of course, we need a dry flour. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Keep your fingers crossed while we get started. If you're not joining this live stream, this is Google Chef Francis live on YouTube. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not done that now. And turn on the bell. You know, when you subscribe, it shows subscribe. Then you need to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified for new videos. I upload new live streams every day, new videos every day. So when you see the notification, you don't, you know, you know, miss the latest from this wonderful and lovely station. And of course, please always share my videos and my live streams on social media and let people know there's a great channel like this, you know, making food vlog and also cooking live on YouTube. This is a wonderful station. Stay connected. Keep watching my videos. I got lots of playlists. I got the live stream playlist. I have these are playlists, cakes and sweet pastries, cocktail drinks, bread, lovely playlists. Lots of videos I have over 170 videos. So please share these videos, watch them. They are very important. And you know, I make everything from start to finish. My recipes are there. When I upload, upload a video, you're going to see the recipes. They are real recipes. Please use them, you know. And whatever I make on my videos, you see the results are always perfect. If you check my live streams, no mistakes, everything accurate from start to finish. So keep watching every day. Keep sharing my videos. Give it a like. Thank you very much. So I'll go back to my Japanese tempura now. I said I made my half moons for my, you know, onion and I showed you how I did it. So if you miss, you know, what I did, when I'm done with this live stream, you can watch the replay and you're going to see how I made my, you know, how, how I use my cook's knife, my chef knife to make my half moon with my onion. I used two medium sized onion to make my lovely half moon and that was the result. It came out absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. That was really half moon. It looks like a moon. You know, a moon is round and half of those, can you see? Looks exactly like a moon. Now, that's the uh, strips. I made that one. That's the strips. And of course, that's the uh, sweet potato. That's the triangles, of course. And now, I have my garlic puree. And... Uh, you know, I made my garlic puree. I used two garlic cloves, and that's my puree. And of course, I added a little bit of fresh thyme. But I say you can use your parsley or coriander, that's all right. But I don't have parsley right now, so I'm gonna use thyme. I just need something to spice, you know, to make like a veg to, to make it look absolutely nice. And uh, of course, that's for the sauce, and I'll be using my soy sauce. I'll be using my hot sauce. You can use sweet chili. Sweet chili is very good for your, you know, tempura. And of course, we need uh, more vinegar. You can use any vinegar you like. You can use the mili as well. And of course, I have my salt and black pepper for spicing. And I've got my uh, garlic. I, get, I beg your pardon. I have my um, ginger. I'm going to be adding my ginger right in there. Of course, I'll be frying my vegetable oil. I don't want to use olive oil because vegetable oil is good for frying your tempura now i have a little bit of flour i'll be dipping my veggies into that flour and i'm going to deep fry my tempura so now i'm going to pop my i'm going to put on my gas my pot because i want to start frying now so i'm going to take my uh, camera i'm going to move my camera straight you know right here now so that you can see what i'm doing my friends so now, I'm going to move my camera now, my friends. So I'll gently move my camera so you can see what I'm doing, my friends. So, uh, so I'll gently move my camera now. So you can see my hog. That's my hog. You can see that now, my friends. So, um, 
Yeah, so now my friends, I'm going to add uh, What I'm going to do, I'm going to use that one I'm going to use that one so you can see my, uh, I'm going to use that So you can see what I'm frying now, I believe you can see that So what I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust my camera So you can see inside the port. Now you can see my friends. So I'm gonna pop my. Uh, yeah, that's alright. I'm gonna pop my uh, oil straight into that lovely. Uh, sauce pan. So I'm gonna be defying my temperature. So I want to define my tempura, so that's what I'm going to do. So basically, we need veg oil. Yeah. So I'm going to define that here. So I need to heat that up. I'll heat that for some time. So when I heat it up, I'll start frying my friends. So I'm gonna check my um, butter now and see if it's ready. But my friends, that's my uh, my potatoes and uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop that one there. You know, and my friends, you know, this is the um, oil, you know. I'm gonna be defrying my veggies right there, and I need, you know, to after frying, I'm gonna pop it on the uh, on the J cloth. So I'm gonna grab a J cloth. So that's a J cloth. So I'm gonna pop the J cloth right here. I'm going to be using a plate, so I need a plate. So my friends, when I'm frying, I'm gonna pop that. You know, I'm just gonna pop that that way. You know, it's gonna drain the oil. I'm gonna put that away. So I'm gonna be putting the tempura right here, you know. Yeah. Now my friends, uh I'm gonna uh, grab my uh, uh, butter now from the fridge. So what I'm gonna be doing now, my oil is heating and it's almost ready. So I'm gonna be frying everything 
you know, bit by bit. So I'll start with the sweet potatoes. So what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to dip my sweet potatoes into my seasoned flour. Right here in my flour, I have, I have seasoned flour. You know, this flour is seasoned with salt and pepper. So I'm going to pop everything right there. And I'm going to mix everything with flour. Now you see my friends, I'm mixing the sweet potato with flour. And I'm going to shake off the flour and pop it back on my plate. I'll shake it off. Shake it off. You know, when you shake it off, you pop it there. Easy, my friends. Shake it off. You don't want the flour to be too much to stick, you know, with the uh, potatoes. So you just shake it off. Makes it easier, you know, when you're frying your butter. Give it a quick shake. Shake it off. Shake it off. If you don't dip it in flour, you're going to ruin it. So you must dip in the flour, my friends. So I season my flour with salt and pepper, my friends. Shake it off. So you keep shaking it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off, my friends. Remember, I made thin slices. You don't want to make it too thick, it's not going to cook. So, uh, so I'm almost done with the potatoes. So that's my sweet potatoes. I'm shaking it off. My friends, that's the uh, you know seasoned potatoes. I'll set it aside. Now, my friends, I'll dip my uh, bell pepper, you know, one at a time. So I'm going to season that with flour. Shake it off. I see that my friends, shake it off. Shake it off.
Shake it off. So that's the bell pepper. Now my friends, I'm gonna dip my cogent. That's my cogent, so I'm gonna dip my cogent into the flour. That's my cogent, my friends. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll shake it off. Shake it off. Same way you shake it off. That's the cogent in flour, seasoned flour. Shake it off, my friends. So we just shake it off, and that's it. Easy. So I'm left with the uh, the onion. I'm gonna dip the onion now right into the uh, flour. We're almost done. I'll be right back, my friends. Thank you. So my friend is almost ready. Uh, I'll keep shaking it off. Now I'm gonna dip my um, onion in half moon straight into this wonderful flour. I'm gonna gently dip my onion. For well, onion, we need to be careful, we don't want to ruin it, so we do it gently because onion is fragile, it could, it could peel off so you gently do it my friends gently gently
gently my friends So my friends, I'm going to bean that one. I don't need that anymore. So um, straight into the bean. My friends, I'll be right back. Just a second, thank you. My friends, uh, I'm going to heat up my oil now and start frying my tempura. So uh, I'm going to grab my, uh, my oil is almost hot. So I want it to heat up more. Of course, we don't want to fry our tempura in, in a oil that is not hot. Our oil needs to be very hot. So I'm using vegetable oil and I'm going to fry, you know, I'm going to deep fry my tempura into this lovely oil, you know. But firstly, I'm going to be using the, uh, I'm going to fry my sweet potatoes right in here, you know. So that oil might not be enough. I need to top more oil, you know. I need to deep fry, so. I need to do everything, my friends. 
That one should be enough now. Because I'm deep frying. I'm gonna clean my hole. Alright my friends, I'll be using this um, J cloth to drain my fried tempura and uh, I have my um, slotted frying spoon and of course I have my uh, sliced onion, you know my half moon onion dipped into flour, seasoned flour and I have my koji dip into seasoned flour this is my sliced courgette I slice them thinly so they're gonna cook quickly and of course I have my um, strips of uh, bell pepper you could use the green yellow or red bell pepper that's all right you know season it to flour as well you know you know dip into seasoned flour and I got my thin slices of sweet potatoes also dip into seasoned flour so what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to dip them into my lovely butter my butter is in the fridge i'll dip them into this butter you know and deep fry and when when it's ready i'm going to pop them here and enjoy them with my lovely sauce so i'm going to be making my sauce as well So that my butter in the fridge, you know, I pop in the fridge and I clean film it. So it looks absolutely lovely. So I'll put it back in the fridge. When I'm ready to fry, I'll bring it out. When we're making our tempura butter, we need to, you know, put it in the fridge. You know, when you put it in the fridge, it gives you a lovely um, texture. And when you dip your bath, your, your your vegetables or your fish right into the butter, it, it comes out absolutely nice. But if you don't do it that way, it's, it's going to be ruined. So we want it perfect. That's why we need to chill it. We need to chill it in the fridge. And we're using, of course, we're using ice cold water. And uh, what I did, I, I, I bought sparkling water. So you know, spring, sparkling spring water, you know, but my friends, you can use the normal water from the tap, you know, chill it in the fridge, you know, before using it. So while I, when I finish frying my tempura, you know, I'm going to explain what I did again, because we have only 30 minutes in the next 30 minutes. I should be ending this live stream in the next 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm going to start frying, but I want this to heat up. So when it heats up, I'm going to start frying. I'll be right back, my friends. Just one minute. I want this to heat up in one minute. I'm going to fry my lovely tempura. I'll be right back. Thank you very much.
So my friends, now I'm gonna fry my tempura veggies. So I'm gonna dip, I'm gonna start with my koji. Uh, okay, I'm gonna start with my uh, yellow bell pepper. So I'm going to dip that. It's going to be lovely tempura veg. I want it nice and golden. I don't want to burn it. So I need to be careful while I'm frying. And I'm going to add some, um, you know, sweet potatoes as well. You don't want to add too much, my friends. So. It's going to be a nice tempura. my friends I'm gonna take them out quickly wash my hands so I'm gonna check the uh, I see my friends, it's nice and crispy. I don't want to cook them for long. So that one is ready. Um, I see that nice and crispy. So I'm going to drain the oil, nice and crispy, lovely, nice and crispy, that's what we want from our uh, Japanese tempura, look at that my friends, it looks absolutely gorgeous, absolutely crispy, crispy and sensational, you know. Look at that. Look at that, my friends. It looks absolutely crispy and gorgeous. Nice and crispy. You know. Look at that, my friends. Look at that. Lovely. That's the... Uh, look at the color. Nice and, you know, lovely color. It looks absolutely gorgeous, my friends. That's the sweet potato by the side. Now, my friends, I'm gonna, you know, keep frying my uh, sweet potatoes. Yeah, I need to dip them into the butter. Of course, you don't want to forget that. So, I'll keep frying. So that's the sweet potato right into the, uh, you know, saucepan. So I'm going to try 
the one of the potatoes to see if it's ready. Wow, tastes great. This is absolutely nice. I'm gonna try the um, uh, yellow bell pepper as well. Hmm. Tastes good. Look at the color, nice and golden. I love tempura, they are nice. Lovely, my friend. So, we're gonna be enjoying our tempura with our lovely sauce when I finish frying this. Can you see? I love the color, it looks absolutely nice, my friends. Gorgeous. The potatoes are already crispy. That's why I, I told you, my friends, when you find your tempura, make sure your potatoes, you know, as you know, cut thinly and thin slices. And look at, look at it, look at what I did, and it came out perfectly fine. That's the uh, the potatoes in triangles and the yellow bell pepper, you know, in strips. Looks absolutely gorgeous, crispy, nice and crispy, you know. Nice and crispy, my friends. Of course, we need to serve our food warm. So, you know, before I'm done frying, it's going to be cold. But we need to serve warm. Always reheat. Or maybe you can heat it up, put it under the salamander, you know, to warm up. You know. What I normally do, I always put it back in the oven to like for like two, three minutes to heat up. You know. So I'm going to eat it warm. That's what I do. Because we don't want to... It's called tempura veg because I'm gonna make my sauce when I'm done frying. So look at that lovely crispy, you know, potatoes, nice and crispy. Looks absolutely gorgeous, my friends. Please make sure you try making yours. They look absolutely gorgeous. Lovely crispy, you know, tempura veg. Absolutely gorgeous, my friends. So now, uh, I'm gonna dip more of those right into uh, my uh, lovely butter. So I'll keep frying my potatoes. When I'm done, I'll fry my onion and my courgette. I finished frying the um, bell pepper, so I'm left with my onion and courgette. So I want to fry, finish frying my uh, potatoes. So I keep doing that, you know, one at a time. So I'll keep doing that my friends. You don't want to put too much, so if you put too much, they're gonna to stick together. So what you wanna do, you wanna give them create some space. You don't wanna overcrowd them. Overcrowding will make them stick together. So uh, wash my hand again.
So I'm gonna try one again. It looks absolutely nice. Look at that. I'm gonna try one again. Nice and crispy. I love it. Lovely tempera veg. We're gonna dip it into our lovely sauce and we'll finish. You know, when 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 you fry something nice, you cannot wait to finish everything. You know, I'm not in a mood bank, but I love to eat more. It tastes great. Almost ready. Yeah, I'm gonna clean my my hog. So it's nice and crispy now. Nice and crispy. So I'm gonna take that out soon. I love tempura, they look absolutely nice. So after my potatoes, I'll be frying my half moon onion. When you deep fry your onion, you know, make your tempura onion you enjoy eating your onion looks absolutely nice so now i'm going to take that out you look gorgeous my friends lovely tempura Look at the color, nice and golden, lovely color. Look at that, nice color. I'm gonna try this one, nice and golden. But now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep frying that. That's my potatoes, my sweet potatoes. I'm left with just a little bit of potatoes. Then I'm gonna fry my um, onion now. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna deep fry my onion. As my onion, I'm gonna fry that now. My half moon onion, straight there. You know, straight into my lovely butter.
So I'm gonna wash my hand again. You know when you are frying a butter, you need to wash your hand. The butter makes your hand messy, so you need to. So the onion is almost cooking and uh, I got my potatoes cooking as well so uh, I'm gonna give them some time to cook they look nice my friends I love it So after this, I'll be frying my courgette, my courgette and my onion. Uh, I have some onion right in, right in here, so I'll be frying the rest of the onion, you know, and the courgette. And after that, I'm gonna make my sauce and uh, dip my lovely tempura veggies into our lovely sauce. So it's almost ready. Uh, what I'm gonna do after taking off this, I will remove the crumbs from the frying pan so that cord is gonna come out absolutely gorgeous. Because I'm having some crumbs from the uh, from the butter in the frying pan. Can you see that, my friends? Lovely onion. Look, look crispy. Nice and crispy onion, lovely. Nice and crispy onion. That's another onion, nice and crispy. Looks nice. So my friends, I'm going to be frying the courgette now. I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to bin that. Too much of crunch. When you're frying, you see some crumbs. I'm gonna take that off. I don't want any crumbs in my uh, frying pan. 
So I'll take that off my friends. Now my friends, I'm gonna dip my project right in there. And I'm gonna, you know, defry that into my oil. That's my lovely cogent. So uh, I'm gonna wash my hand again. So I'll leave that to heat up while I get my uh, tissue. So my friends, I will pop in that tissue there. It's almost ready. So my friends, I'm going to take my project out now. That's ready. Lovely cogent, my friends. Looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna dip more cogent right in there. And after that, I'll finish up with my onion.
try to separate them. You don't want them to stick together. You know. You want to get an accurate result while we fry. So uh, I got my onion, I'm going to dip my onion right in there. friends you can see that's a lot of you know sweet potatoes and you know bell pepper and that's cold yet as well so now I'm gonna keep stirring that it's almost ready my friends I'm gonna clean my hog. I don't wanna stain my hog. I want it neat, nice and clean. They look absolutely nice, nice and hot. That's the onion, you can see the onion looks awfully nice. Nice. So the cordial is almost ready. So that's the lovely potatoes, you know, in triangles, nice. The onion in half moon looks absolutely nice. And uh, that's the yellow bell pepper, it looks absolutely nice in strips. So I'll get the cordial out. That's the project, nice and round, nice and crispy. So I'm gonna take out, you know, I'll remove the rest from the frying pan, from the saucepan. They are nice and crispy, my friends. Now I'm going to dip my uh, onion in half moon again, straight into the uh, saucepan. That's my onion in half moon, looks absolutely nice. So 
So I don't like anymore. I'll bin that. So after this, I'm going to be making my, uh, you know, tempura dipping sauce called the tensuyu. So we'll be dipping our crispy veg into uh, our lovely sauce. You can see it's almost cooking. It's nice and crispy. Lovely crispy onion. Lovely crispy sweet potatoes. Lovely crispy, you know, kojek. And lovely crispy... Uh, bell pepper we're going to be dipping that into our tensuyu sauce and i'm going to be showing you how to make the tensuyu sauce right after this the uh japanese tempura is widely eaten in japan and it's a very lovely dish when you dip it in the lovely sauce, it comes out absolutely nice and you know tastes absolutely gorgeous and absolutely sensational. So of course when you fry your tempura, you don't need to overcrowd them. Because if you overcrowd them, they're gonna to stick together and of course you're gonna ruin it. So you need to stay you know single one at a time. When you fry, you do it one at a time. And you want them nice and crispy. You don't want them injured. I love tempura. They are absolutely nice dishes to me. They look absolutely amazing. Now I mean. They are almost ready. So I'll take that out in the next one minute. And I'm going to be making my lovely tempura sauce. But of course, my friends, today I said I'm making the tempura, Japanese tempura veg. If you want to make your own, of course, follow my recipes, watch the replay and you're going to see my recipes. And of course, if you are making the fish tempura, like the shrimp one, it's the same method. All you need to do, you wash your fish dry and dip it into the normal uh, butter that I use. Same method and your fish is going to come out crispy. Use the same butter, the same thing. Use my procedure. Watch the replay if you if you don't join in and uh, you miss some of those interesting aspects. So it's almost ready. I'll bring it out now. So my friends, uh, if it's your first time watching my channel, please uh, subscribe. Click the subscribe button and turn on the bell button so that you don't miss the latest from. Uh, Cook with Chef Francis. Tomorrow will be another great, uh, nice day. I'm gonna make, you know, something wonderful. Same time tomorrow, same time, 12, 12 p.m., you know, UK time. I'm gonna be making a lovely dish. So that, that's my crispy onion, lovely. It looks absolutely like a half moon. Nice and crispy. So my friends, I'm done with that, so I don't need that anymore. So now, I'm going to be making my sauce. So 
So now, I'm going to, uh, you know, fry my, uh, So I need a little bit of um, oil. So I need I need a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit of olive oil. Then uh, I see that my friends. Uh, is a uh, there's a little bit of water there, so I'm gonna quickly put my uh, my garlic. You know we need to dry the water, so water and oil doesn't go together like popping up. I was lucky. So now um, that's my garlic. I don't want to burn it, so what? Then I took it off from the oil. Can you see my friends? That's the garlic. Then I'm going to add uh, my soy sauce. The Japanese soy sauce. Just about um, three tablespoons. A little bit of ginger that's extremely hot so i have to take it off ginger just like a pinch like one tablespoon of vinegar that's enough so i'll show you inside now can you see that my friends and uh, I'm going to pop in my sweet chili or you can use your hot sauce. That's all right. So you can see it's really hot. So I'll just leave that, I'll leave that to boil away. See that, my friends. That's a lovely sauce. So we add more sweet chili. You know, equal amount of sweet chili, soy sauce, and your more vinegar, and a little bit of uh, ginger, garlic. I see. Lovely thanks to you. So I'll be popping that in my ramekin and we use that to enjoy our lovely sauce. Can you see my friends? You know, absolutely nice. So I need that to boil away. Add a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of ginger again. Yeah, that's all right. Absolutely nice. So I'll leave that to boil away. Now I'm going to plate my tempura and show you how it's going to look like.
So I'm going to push back my camera. So more sweet chili. So I'll pop my, uh, you know, my soy sauce back into the fridge. my olive oil I put it away I'll clean my work surface A little bit of vinegar. So that's alright, I put that away. So I need my ramekin. I need the ramekin. So I'm gonna be plating my tempura. Put it that way if we want to, you know. So my sauce is nice and thick. That's a lovely thing to you. So I'll. my potatoes So my friends, I'm ready to plate. I'll be right back in just a second. Thank you.
So my friends, now I'm gonna be plating my tempura. So uh, firstly, I'm gonna pop my sauce. Of course, when you want to serve yours, you need to serve it cool, hot. This is a lovely sauce. It takes absolutely night, my friends. I love the sauce. So, uh, that's the sauce. I could, I could pop more soy sauce because that's not really enough. I'm gonna make more because that's not really. I need, I need it to fool the uh, the ramekin. It's absolutely nice, my friend. A little bit of vinegar. So I want that to heat up, then I'm going to top it because I have like half full, I want it, you know, more. So, yeah, it's going to boil away now. So what I'm going to do now, I want to plate my lovely, you know, tempura veg. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, you know, let me use this one. That one should be enough. So I'm going to, you know, put some, uh, yeah, some, um, you know, sweet potato by the side. Then uh, I got my that's boiling away. So you're gonna see this is my uh, you know bell pepper. So I want to pull that one by the side. So you know this is the bell pepper. It looks absolutely nice, my friend. Gorgeous. So you know that's the bell pepper for the tempura. So um, that's the uh, sweet potato by the side, bell pepper there. Now I'm gonna grab some cold jet. Cold jet by the side. You know, I'm going to be placing the sauce, you know, in the middle. So that's my sauce. So I'll pop that in the middle. Wow, lovely. Look at that, my friends. Absolutely nice. Lovely sauce. So, uh, I'm going to clean that one. That's my lovely sauce right there at the middle. Now I'm going to pop my onion, that's my lovely onion. Okay, I need to pop more, more sweet potato because I got lots of space right there, you know, yeah, Kojet.
Yeah, that's a lovely courgette, my friends. Now, I have my courgette. Courgette by the side. Bell pepper by the side. Sweet potato by the side. Now, I'm going to pop my onion. You know. I could just put that one there. Pop that one there. And I'm going to pop my onion, you know, my lovely onion in half moons. This is absolutely nice. I'm going to try that. Onion in half moons. So my friends, that's the onion in half moon. So my friends, that's our tempura veg. Of course, you don't want to eat cold tempura. You need to warm your sauce. Your sauce needs to be hot. And your food needs to be hot as well. Everything to be nice and hot. Of course, no one want to eat something cold. So my friends, uh, if you are just joining this live stream, this is Google Chef Francis live on YouTube, making it on YouTube. So now I said I'm making the Japanese uh, tempura, and of course I've made my Japanese tempura, and this is the result. Can you see that, my friends? I'm going to bring it close to the camera now. That's my lovely sauce, my tensuyu. Look at the color, nice color. And that's my half moon onion. That's uh, my uh, sweet potato, lovely veg. That's my cogent. So I said my friends, and that's the bell pepper. I use the yellow one. You can use the green, you can use the red. Of course, you don't want to eat cold food. When you're ready to serve, you need to warm it up. Or you can leave it under the salamander, you know, under the grill to, you know, the heat is going to warm it up and you need to eat it when it's hot. That's when you're going to enjoy it. It's, they are nice and crispy. Of course, when you fry, it becomes nice and crispy. And you dip that. So I'm going to show you how we do it. So now, this is how the Japanese eat, you know, their lovely veg dipped in tensuyu sauce. Now I'm going to dip that into the sauce. Look at that, my friend. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to pop that in my mouth. So that's the sweet potato. The sauce gives it, you know what the sauce does? You know, the sauce adds flavor. It makes your tempura very tasty. So if you are making your tempura without a sauce, without your tensuyu sauce, that's not right. In Japan, they eat their tempura with the tensuyu sauce. 
it's absolutely lovely. And right here on this live stream, I made the tensile sauce, I made the butter, and I made my Japanese tempura from start to finish. My friends, if you just join into this 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 lovely live stream and you miss, you know, all I did, just watch the replay after the live stream and you get to know what I did from start to finish, how I made the butter and all that. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Turn on the bell button so that you get notified for new videos and you don't miss the latest from Cook with Chef Francis. I remain Francis by name and this is Cook with Chef Francis, live on YouTube, making it on YouTube, making live, live stream videos every day and making and uploading real videos every day. Real recipes right on this station, not fake. You check my live stream, my playlist, you're going to see all the live streams I've been making there for real when I make you know cookies from start to finish is cookies are made and nothing else so this is my 17 live stream you know i've made so many uh, videos so many live streams the first live stream was on cookies and i made with a wheat flour and with normal fried plain flour it came out absolutely nice i made blueberry scones absolutely nice you know the general sponge cake i made that i make milk bread came out nice I made sanding bread, came out nice, you know, I made chabata bread, came out nice, I made focaccia bread, came out nice, I made baguette, came out nice, you know, and yesterday, you know, I do it on Christmas day, I, I, I made a roast, I made a roast with veg, and as well I made, you know, roast chicken, and it came out very nice, absolutely nice, you know, you know, what I, whatever I make comes out nice, and today, you see, my friends, I made the Japanese tempura veg. Of course, I said if you are making your tempura using the fish, like your shrimp or your fish tempura, what you need to do, you need to use the same butter. So, my friends, if you are just tuning in and you miss, you know, the, the, the you know what I did from the beginning, I'm going to give you a recap now, you know, a recap of what I did from start to finish, and I'm going to end this live stream in the next five to ten minutes. So my friends, now what I did, you know, from very start to finish, you know, I I use my 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 vegetables. What I did, my carrots, I make a part of my potatoes. I peel the potatoes, half potatoes, sweet potatoes, you know, like a medium size of potato, cut in half. I peel them with my grater wash the potatoes and I dry them with a J cloth. So after drying with a J cloth, the next thing for me to do was to use my cook's knife or my chef knife, you know, to slice the potatoes, you know, and, you know, slice them in triangles. I cut them straight from, you know, from the long side and to the bottom and I flip it the other way around and I cut it in triangles that's for the potato but what i did i cut it thinly you know i sliced thinly my friends when you're making tempura veggies because you're going to deep fry them you need to slice them thinly because if they are too thick when you slice them they're not going to cook very well so i slice thinly and i set it aside make sure they are dry because they are wet they're going to you know you know mix with the oil and it's not going to come out very well you know and now for my onion I peel my onion with my hand and be careful with the edges of the onion if you cut too much when you're making your half moon they, they, they will gonna break off and the onion is gonna stay together so what I did I peel my two onion medium size I cut them in half and I slice them in half moon and I set them aside same with my uh, bell pepper I slice them in, in strips remove this I decided what I did when I cut my yellow bell pepper I deseeded the bell pepper. You don't use the seed. You could use the green, yellow, or red bell pepper. Half bell pepper is what I use. I deseeded it and I cut them in strips, and it came out like like a big triangle or something. And for the courgette, I use one courgette, medium size of courgette, and I wash them, dry them, slide them in, you know thinly, and they came out that way, thinly, not thick. Look at it, my friends, thinly, so that they're gonna cook easily. And I pour them aside. Then, my for my butter, what I did, you know, I weighed my flour. You know, I weighed 200 grams of flour. 
and I set it aside. Then I also, you know, I said you can use any kind of water you want. You can use a sparkling water, you can use a steel water, you know, or you can use your water from the running tap, but it, it should be cold. But I bought a sparkling water, you know, because the, the sparkling water contains carbon, carbon dioxide. So, you know, when you put it like, like it pops or something, just like your beer, you know, when you add your beer, you want to make a uh, uh, fish pie. Uh, you know, you want to fight, you want to make your fish and chips, you know, you dip it in butter. So same way, I use my steel water and add it into my flour. I added, you know, uh, for 200 grams of flour, I added two egg yolks. And as well, I added uh, 400 milliliters of cold water. I mix them with the wicks and I pop that in the fridge. I let it stand for about 30 minutes. You want it cold. And uh, I added uh, you know, flour in another bowl and seasoned with salt and pepper. And I swear I seasoned my butter with salt and pepper as well. So what I did when I was ready to fry, I popped my uh, saucepan on the frying pan. Oh, I beg your pardon, I popped my saucepan <laughs> on the hob and <laughs> added my veg oil into the or uh, into the frying pan or saucepan then i allowed it to heat up the oil to heat up and what i did was to dip my vegetables into dry flour you know my seasoned dry flour and after dipping that into seasoned dry flour i have to shake it off when you shake off you remove the uh, flour from it because you don't shake it off it's not gonna be all right so you need to shake it off we have shaking them off and now dip into that lovely you know butter and i deep fried my veg you know and i dried them with uh, my tissue i did that i did that and when i was frying what i did was to separate them while frying i don't want them to stick together because when you're frying and you overcrowd them in the oil they're going to stick together so what i did i did not overcrowd them i left them you know to be separated from one another and I kept frying. I went to, when I was frying, I brought them out when they were ready and it was really crispy. It was nice and crispy. Then after that, I made my sauce. So what I did, you know, I made some garlic puree from two garlic gloves, two garlic gloves, I made a puree. And what I did was, you know, I told you can add your coriander, parsley, or favorite herbs. What I did, I added, you know, thyme. You know, when I added thyme into my um, garlic, I fried it together with a little bit of olive oil. Then, you know, I seasoned, uh, I beg your pardon, I added uh, soy sauce, vinegar, and sweet chili, and sweet chili sauce. And I mix everything up together and I heat them up and my sauce was ready, that was my sauce. So my friends, this is how I made my lovely tempura veg and you know you know if you check my thumbnail you see tempura veg tensu sauce and the butter i made everything right here within you know three hours i made this lovely you know, tempura so my friends make sure you subscribe to this channel if you have not done so click the subscribe button turn on the bell so that you don't miss the latest on Cooking Chef Francis. You know, I'll be here tomorrow again, live, 12 p.m. UK time. If you are watching me from all over the world, from the UK, the US, the Canada, Philippines, you know, Ghana, Nigeria, Denmark, Poland, Japan, welcome to this channel all over the world. This is Google Chef Francis, live on YouTube. Making it real on YouTube, making real videos. Please share my videos, like them, you know, share them on social media. I'd let people know that there's a great channel like this, you know, an upcoming channel, you know, to say. But of course, it's, it's you know, it's, it's upcoming, but of course, it's going to get to millions of subscribers very soon. So my friends, keep watching, share this, you know, great channel. Let people know that there's a great chef right here making it for you, cooking the right dishes. And making dishes all over the world. Yummy dishes all over the world. 
Today I made it Japanese dishes, I made it Indian dishes, I made dishes from the UK, from the Caribbean and all that, from Africa, Europe, US. Now this is the dish from Japan. I got, I have many videos to make. I promise to make thousands of videos right here on YouTube. So I'll be making dishes from all over the world. All over the world, my friends. So keep watching, keep watching every day. And stay put to this great channel. And keep your fingers crossed for my next video. So I remain Francis by name. And this is Kuku Chef Francis. Thank you, bro. Thank you very much for watching this great channel. You know. Keep watching every day. Watch my playlist. Watch my uh, upload and all that. My live stream. I got the live. I got live stream playlist. I have playlist on Blizzard. I have playlists on you know cocktails and all that. I have playlists on even short videos. You want to watch five minutes videos, twelve minute videos. I have all of them. But my live streams are longer because you know I was encouraged to be making live stream because. My viewers wanted to understand what I'm doing from start to finish. You know, when you make an upload, you can make it fast forward or something. But here is, you know, bit by bit, no rush, start to finish, gently, and that's it. So thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow, same time, 12 p.m. I don't want to see what we're making tomorrow, but of course, I'll be making something very great again, something amazing and special, you know. So I'm going to wish you again, I wish you my friends a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year yesterday and on Christmas Day and you know, I'll do that again, though we, 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 we're done with Christmas, but you see the Christmas season and you know, we'll be approaching the New Year. Of course, the New Year we want new things to happen in our life, so of course, many people have New Year resolution, what, to, what, what they want to do next year, but of course, everyone wants to see the New Year and we pray to see that. So, thank you for watching. I remain friends, Francis by name. This is Cook with Chef Francis, live on YouTube, making it real on YouTube. See you tomorrow, same time, 12 p.m. Ciao, merci, bye bye. For my Romanian friends, I can say, La revedere, those watch me for Romania. La revedere means goodbye. Merci. Thank you. Uh, ciao. You know, in my native country, you know, they say Dalu. Dalu. <laughs> That's thank you. So, see you tomorrow. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye.